Hi everyone, this is Kevin with Garrison Dental Solutions and we're continuing with our series of uh, the top five questions for sectional matrix systems. Uh, we've been doing those uh, types of systems for over 20 years now and have had a pretty consistent theme to the questions that we get presented with over the years. So uh, this session is number two wide preps. On your screen you should see a photo of, oh my goodness, that's a big restoration. Um, so you're having a great day at the office and then you walk into the operatory and you're facing this. So how do we restore that with a sectional matrix system as quickly uh, and efficiently as we can and provide a, a good result for the patient? Now certainly there are cases like these where uh, potentially you're going to recommend um, a crown or something like that. Of course, we're, we're unable to ask the doctor in this case why he or she chose to do this as a direct restoration versus a crown. But, uh, you know, whether it's uh, monetary concerns of the patient or some other mitigating circumstances, we don't know. Um, but here you are, you're, you're facing this type of a restoration. And how can we get this accomplished um, in the best way? possible way. Um, we can see this is a, uh, a newer way of doing this. Um, up until we launched the Compositite Fusion sectional matrix system um, in 2017 with the green wide prep ring, um, you could not do this restoration in one step with the sectional matrix system, anybody's sectional matrix system. Um, it's just not possible to bridge that type of a gap with a traditional sectional matrix ring. We'll look at that on the type and on here in just a second. So here you can see that the green wide prep ring is able to uh, wrap around that tooth and hold that band in position without collapsing it into the restoration. And then that's a very nice outcome for that patient. Uh, that, that restoration is going to serve that patient for a long time and hopefully he or she will be able to come in and get those other uh, composites replaced there. It looks like they're in a little bit rough shape on, on those two adjacent teeth. So uh, anyway, so let's take a look on the type of now of why um, the green wide prep ring makes this so much easier. So we've got a nice wide prep here. I'm going to go ahead and drop a band in place on that. And then we'll uh, uh, show you kind of the typical thing that happens. So on a real wide prep, you do want to kind of cheat that band over a little bit so it covers around the wide area a little bit better. Um, you're going to wedge it from the lingual. You want to make sure that you've got the biggest part of the wedge there to help support the ring. Unfortunately, when I put the, the uh, traditional ring on here, it's not going to help much. So I'm going to grab the ring you don't want to use, which is one of our standard uh, fusion rings. is not going to handle this type of restoration very well. And we can see why right here. So right here on the corner, this orange ring, whereas it's great for uh, your typical MO or DO or MOD situation on a really wide prep, you can see here it is crushing the band into the preparation. And that happens with every sectional matrix system available on that type of a prep. So uh, up until last year, what you'd end up having to do so let's back this out one quick step here, is when you were at this stage, when you had the band in place, what you would need to do is come in and freehand some material into this corner and recreate part of that cusp to support the ring so it didn't collapse the band into the box. So you, add, you uh, added a step in there to freehand that material in there and then use the sectional matrix ring. A lot of folks, um, a large number of people, instead of doing that, they would actually use a Toffelmeyer on here first, restore the tooth with the Toffelmeyer, and then recut the contact area and restore it with a sectional to get the nice contact. So uh, that was a, a really long way to go. Um, it was a fairly sure method, um, able to get the uh, to recreate that 
that missing lingual cusp and build that tooth back up. But, but definitely time consuming having to cut that second prep essentially and, and do, the, do the restoration twice. Well, let's put the green ring on there, the wide prep ring, and we'll see what a difference this makes. Look at that. Now we've secured the band against the tooth right here. We can easily just manipulate that band where we want it, build that up all in one step. With, and getting in, and be assured that you're going to get an excellent contact and contour with that. So um, it's a it's just a little short tip for you here today. So what do you do when you have a wide prep? Make sure that you've got a Garrison wide prep ring, and that restoration is going to be a lot less challenging. So stay tuned for our third big question coming up soon.